Hi everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and today I'm doing the three Tina's three in 30 minute challenge, the alphabet challenge by Shabby Dabby Doo Dah. I'll put her link below for this challenge and today's letter is the letter D and D is for decoupage. Now I have to admit I had to actually go and look up the true meaning of decoupage and apparently it's you glue or varnish something down to something and then you put more glue or varnish on top of it. So the something in the middle can be pretty much anything. Um, we use commonly papers and napkins and stuff, but you can also use plants and dried flowers and things like that. Magazines, book pages, all sorts of stuff. So the three things I'm going to do are going to be, um, the first one is I'm going to decoupage some uh, dried leaves onto this book page. This is an old book page successful letter writing and I thought just to make the process a little bit easier you know great great plants of mice and men here happening before your eyes wait a minute okay stop the presses I got to put the the clock on okay 632 okay go all right all right I'm just going to ink I'm going to cheat I guess this is a cheat I don't know I'm going to anchor this down so it doesn't run around on me as I'm trying to glue it down well, I guess I could actually just lightly, nah, you know what? Let me anchor it down. I just, I got a feeling. I got a feeling. Yep. That wasn't me. I don't know who was that. That was somebody walking by. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. There, let's just try that for simplicity's sake. And normally you would coat the background first with your glue and then put your object on and then coat on top. But since these are very breakable um, and uh, they could crush easily, I'm going to just try this this way and see how it goes. Oh, I think it's going to be okay. And I thought this would just be a fun way to be able to use some dried flowers and dried plants right in our journals, and keep them nice and safe. Um, might they break? They might, but um, I have done this with some pretty thick flowers and plants in my journals and so far so good. So let's see how, how it goes. Okay, so you can do the whole page. You can, you know, put Mod Podge over, this is Mod Podge by the way, um, over the whole page or just do it like this. So I'm going to do, you know, yeah, I'm going to do it like that. I put a pretty thick coat because I want to get the edges and stuff. So let's see how that goes. That may or may not be dry by the time the end of the video comes around, but let's try the same technique. This is number two, flower on doily. And uh, I tend to forget about doilies a lot for some reason, so this is good for me to go through my doily pile. I have a seriously ignored doily pile. Okay, <clears throat> there we go. Doily in place. Mod Podge at the ready. And here we go. Now, slowly and gently, like a little, you know, like treat it like it's very, it, it, very tender because it is. It could, it could fracture at any moment, but once we the shellac it, because this is a sealant, basically Mod Podge, it, Mod Podge is a sealant. <laughs> you just speak slower. No rush here. Everything's fine. I've got lots of time, Pam. It's okay. All right. So I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to let the other one dry. And the third one, hey, this is actually going pretty fast. Um, I have some of these lovely library uh, vintage cards, the real ones, um, but some of them come blank where there's nobody that has filled in anything. And I thought, well, that's kind of sad and not very exciting. So what I thought I would do is, uh, I I've seen this somewhere before, and I'm sorry, I cannot remember where I saw it, but somebody decoupaged onto a library uh, tag. So I'm going to try that. And here's the world famous trip trick. That somebody wonderful. And if anybody knows who it was, created this invention of, oh, all right. Oh, oh, okay. Now don't, no, don't fail me now. Oh, okay. Might have to go back to the old way, but I probably bought cheap tape or something. Hey, okay. okay. There we go. The, the great world renowned trick of separating your napkin into it's layers, so separate layers. So let me move all these other gluey things out of the way before I get my napkin stuck in it. All right, getting all that apart, okay. 
And what do we have? What do we have? We have, okay, I just need, I would just like to use that bird actually. So I think what I'm going to do, I want to do the whole thing or do I want to just do and leave the, yeah, I think I want to, I want to leave the, um, and I'm going to tear, now you can use the water trick, but do you think I have any water with me right now? No. So I'm using the old tear trick here. You can take a paintbrush with water and just draw a nice line there and this will tear like you exactly as you wish, but mine is not going to do that. I say, I would think I would just like to cover up some, like maybe that much. That would be good. Get the birdie's face on there. Okay. So yeah, I can put the tape down. All right. Where's my Mod Podge? All right. Now this one I am going to glue underneath. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Mine must be happy or something today. I don't know. Okay. Here we go. Covering that birdie face in place. Squash. Okay. Now, I guess I can just tear this off. Well, maybe I will cut that off. Just works a little better with the scissors. There we go. And coming down the back side and across. Okay, now don't worry if the edges are not perfect because you can always sand those off later with a little sanding block. And um, if you get the little bumpies, um, Artie Mays, I believe, had a good trick on that. If you don't like the bumpies, um, you can sand them off as well a little bit. And that really makes a nice smooth surface. That's, that's very neat. If you've never tried that, I highly recommend trying that with your decoupage. Okay. A little more glue there. Okay. So first one is on there. So now decoupage layer number two. All right. So I'm happy to say that through the A and the B and the C challenges, I think I have used all the things I've made already in my journal. So thank you very much, Tina, for this suggestion because I'm, um, you know, being able to use this stuff, which is great. And it's a fun way to think of new uh, ways to use up our stash and uh, get some more ephemera going. Um, okay, so that one is there. Let me get the handy dandy, ever so important to be close at handy um, baby wipe. Okay, cleaning up my space. Like a good little pup. Have you noticed my pups are quiet? My pup is quiet. I'm so used to saying pups. I had four pups. I'm down to one pup. All right. They lived a long time. Oh my goodness. I guess I've been doing, I have been doing a lot of uh, uh, vintage photo distressing today. I've been finishing up a journal I she'll be posting very soon. Um, I got to do the video, but um, okay. So here's what we have. What? I'm sure we've got plenty of time, right? 639. Oh, so we totally smoked it, Tina. We got you on the D. We totally got you on the D. Um, <laughs> it must be late in the day. I don't know. Okay. So here are my things. They're obviously not dry yet. So, you know, okay. If I had to wait for drying time, I'd probably be over time. But three different things. Plants, flowers on a doily, plants on a book page, and library card with no writing on it. Ta-da! There you go. <laughs> Nothing earth shattering, but a heck of a lot of fun. And uh, sometimes, you know, we forget about the old Mod Podge. Um, it's something that's been around for a hundred years, but um, it always, uh, you know, comes back and, and raises its head and deserves the glory that it truly deserves. So uh, let's give it some praise. Thanks very much, everybody. I recommend you try these challenges with uh, Tina and the rest of us because it's, it's really a lot of fun. So thanks again and be back at you soon. Take care, everyone.